morning. I had a really nice comment yesterday from an Aston Villa fan who said he's actually obsessed with the vlogs, which is for me, is a matter of positive. You're enjoying them, I enjoy doing them. It is half past 12, they're going just about. So yesterday we had all the playoff games, today, final game of the season. Let's see who wins that Premier League, and I'm praying it's Man City. Red out as well, look at the sunshine. Beautiful day. Off to Aldi, not on bargains, off to Aldi. Get some shopping in, I might treat myself today, I'm not sure yet. I'm trying these, Special K uh, with whole grain oats, vitamins B3, B6, B9. Uh, give them a go, don't know what they like. Also, shout out to the guy in Sainsbury's that served me. I went to his till to get my special K. He looked at me and was like, Do you do you want to like, fan TV? I went, Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, Oh, nice one, nice one. Anyway, let me show some support. So, shout out to you. I didn't get your name, but shout out to you, man. The guy that served me. And yeah, for the rest of the day now, the football kicks off in about an hour and a half. So, let's uh, see what's happening. And also, for my dinner, I picked up uh, some chicken and some brioche buns because they're not bad from Aldi. So, big up Aldi for the nice brioche buns. We are kicked off and this cold is getting dramatically worse, but still here. I'm still trying to fight it. I've also had a dip into these. They're absolutely beautiful. If you've never tried them before and you're on sort of like a diet or a balanced diet or whatever, get these. They are banging. I'm watching currently the Man City Brighton game. We're flicking over to the Liverpool game. Flick over and standing on Mane it makes it 1 0 to Liverpool. This game's 0 0, so as it stands, if it stays 0 0 in this game, Liverpool continue to win, Liverpool will become champions by the time these matches finish. Who will win the league? It's very, very intense. For a person that doesn't support anything in the Premier League, I'm simply a neutral. It's very, 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 very exciting. So, with a packed out Anfield, it's packed out away. I think pretty well, I think both stages have been sold off this game, which you can probably imagine. Liverpool fans hoping to see like the first team. Well, should I say, well, yeah, technically it is the first team in the Premier League for how many years it's been. Man City, well, of course they do win it, and it is what it is. Oh, Aguero went through, but obviously not me and the goalkeeper when I got it. So far, I'm 20 minutes in. Liverpool won now. At the minute they are champions, but it depends. Because City put on the pressure, so you know what I mean? City could score at any time. Brighton haven't really had any sort of chances apart from the first five minutes. When they had a shot, we went, obviously went past the post. Sterling made a set of the goalkeeper a minute ago, but as I said, Liverpool won the up. So right now, the team that are in front is Liverpool. Because, I mean, they're top of the league as it stands. City score, then Liverpool will finish second no matter what the hell their game finishes. If Manchester City win and Liverpool win, then Manchester City win the league. If these draw or lose to Brighton and Liverpool win, they win the league. Let's see what happens. I think that's it for another year, for another season. City have scored the third. Uh, basically, the first one came. Liverpool obviously scored their first one, Sadio Mane. And then Brighton won the score from a corner. Straight away from the kickoff, uh, Sergio Aguero went down and scored. And then they made a two with Laporte's header. And then now in the 60, what, 62nd minute, 63rd minute. I didn't see exactly what had happened, but I just know I seen Real Mahrez running away because I was sat on my laptop doing some stuff. And yeah, City 3, Brighton 1. Realistically, you're not going to say that Brighton are going to win by what? Another 3, come back 4 3 winners or make it 3 all. This is a good make it 3 all. But realistically, I don't see City letting this slip. And I think right now the title is going to go back to Manchester. It's going to go back to Manchester City. Fair play, fair play Liverpool for in the league. 97 points and finish second. Um, you know what I mean? I do feel for their fans. What a trip season they've had. And I did sit at the start of the season. If Liverpool don't win it this season, then 100% next season they will probably win it. But listen, the, where we have to go, we're going to have to go up against City again next season. But yeah, Liverpool, commiserations. If they are not to win it, listen, Brighton might make a free all of it. So it is what it is. But if they don't, commiserations to Liverpool. Fair play to City. Well, two weeks season both teams have had. 4-1, Man City. Uh, well and truly finished now. They could say there's no way back um, at all. For Liverpool, really, I don't think these lads are going to lose a 4-1 lead. Brilliant free kick from Gundogan as well. Edge of the box, through the centre of the D. Benny straight to the top corner. Absolutely wonderful free kick there. And I say Man City 4, Brighton 1. Man City knew they had to win this game, let's be real. Do you know what I mean? They knew that Liverpool won, they didn't. Then, you know what I mean? The title will go to them. But City have been, you know, going to... Listen, the Guero go down, answer straight away, and then, you know, we built on it, so... Like I say, fair play to him. There's uh, no Gallagher there. He must be inside the um, Man City end by the looks of things. But yeah, absolutely fantastic for Manchester City today. He's, they've been absolutely exceptional against Brighton. I don't, like I say, you know what I mean? Brighton put up a fight, got the first goal, but then nothing really happened. I'm looking at the other four pitches now. The fans look a bit good, but you know what it is? Like, the fans have to be proud because at the same time, they finished second, 97 points. Yeah, okay, I know they're a point behind the lads that won the league, but 
Do you know what I mean? What season they've had? I don't think they've lost at all at home at Anfield. Lost one off season. Next season, do you know what I mean? They build on it. Do you know what I mean? They'll know the pain of the day. Next season, do you know what I mean? They're going to come back out even stronger. So, fair play Man City. Absolutely fantastic season. Top manager there as well, Pep Guardiola. And let's say, bring on the new season now. Congrats to Manchester City on winning the league. Goal again at Anfield. Liverpool make it 2 0. Probably won't make any sort of deficit now. It's 82 minutes played. Still Manchester City 4, Brighton 1. A well, goal scored by Mane, the ball went across, he headed it in with a diamond header. Um, 2 0 Liverpool, went out on a bang while the looks of things at Anfield there. And Sadio Mane, he's still in contention with the golden boot, I don't know if he'll get it. Um, I'm not too sure who's going to get the golden boot, I think pretty much, I think, oh, I'm pretty sure Aubameyang was like leading for it, more Salah. But I think Aubameyang scored 2 today, um, I think he's close to a hat-trick, so. Fair play Liverpool, 2 0, Sadio Mane with 2, do you know what I mean, he's been exceptional this season. So to, so to Liverpool to be fair, but yeah, that's as much as I can say really. And that is it, <laughs> until next season, uh, Premier League has been decided, Manchester City are about to lift up the trophy, the Amex, should be the teams that are relegated, their holders feel uh, relegated on 16 points, uh, Fulham relegated on 26, took a whopping 4-0 defeat today at home to Newcastle, and Cardiff finished 18th after the big Manchester United away 2-0 today, it <laughs> shocked me to be fair, uh, they only finished the season on 34 points, and Brighton finished 2 points above them, obviously stayed up in 17th, they Southampton, Burnley, Bournemouth, Newcastle, Palace, and Watford finish 11th, but yeah, uh, until another season, until another title race in the Premier League, we have to wait till August. But of course, you know what I mean, the football does not finish there. A couple of weeks' time, we have all the playoff finals. Uh, one's about to start right now, actually. Newport versus Mansfield in the League 2. Like, see, I watch them all, I watch all the playoff games because they're just exciting, do you know what I mean? It's like one team has to win every single time, so it's good football. Then in June, we have the Nations League. Uh, England fly out to Portugal. Uh, Lisbon, I believe it is, to compete against some teams out there. See what happens. I don't really know much about the Nations League. I mean, a few people took a bit of a joke, but like say like two, three, maybe even five years' time, might become like, you know I mean, you know, it might be actually become like quite a serious like, competition. Do you know what I mean? A bit, a bit like the Euros, a bit like the World Cup. Might become a bit like more serious. But for right now, I don't think anybody kind of knows what it is. So if you win it, everyone will be like, oh yeah, it's coming home, but we don't really know it's coming home. Do you know what I mean? So. <laughs> It's one of them, but yeah, uh, we're all on the rest of the football today. I probably won't bring you any sort of more football because I know a few of you guys won't be interested in League 2. But yeah, do you know what? I've been really, really enjoying myself, uh, bringing you all the sort of reaction to all the um, football. And like I say, on to Tuesday and Wednesday, the Championship playoffs. So I suppose Borough could have been, but they weren't because, you know, we lost six games in a row. And hopefully that end of season sort of video that I want to bring to you guys, hopefully it'll be out sometime this week coming. You know what I mean? Either, either well, probably about like Tuesday or Wednesday, I hope, I hope. So from one spot to another, I'm watching the UFC from last night. It was a packed fight card, to be fair. Anderson Silva was fighting on it, so I couldn't miss it. Um, and like I say, man, I'm trying to think who else was fighting on it. I can't really remember the top of my head. But what I did is I recorded it last night. I was trying to stay up for it, but it was on like 3 o'clock this morning. So I recorded it. First fight's just been over. Decent fight. Now we're getting ready for the one. Also, if you are a UFC fan, do comment down below because I don't don't know how many UFC fans I've got on this channel. But if you are a UFC fan, chat. Well, if you are a UFC fan, and we start doing reviews on all the fights that happen every single week or whatever, comment down below and I'll bring a show based on the UFC. There's going to be UFC fans in this community on the channel right now because this fight card is actually packed. Thiago Alves is one of my most, well, he's up there, some of my most favourite fighters. And there's a big 10 fighters out there, my favourite Thiago Alves goes and they did get beat though. But right now, Jose Aldo is going to fight and I've got a bit of beef with Jose Aldo. I don't really like the guy. I did. I did and then he fought Conor McGregor. McGregor knocked him out in 13 seconds. McGregor is the guy that I watched come up when he was absolutely nobody. Obviously, beat Aldo. But I just I just don't like his attitude. If I'm honest with you, you know what I mean? As a UFC fan, I don't like his attitude. But you know what I mean? He's fighting this guy now. We must really Alexandra What the heck is this guy? Is that I'm not going to even try to pronounce that. Uh, New South Wales, Australia, whoever this guy's from. Jake and Jose Aldo. Big fight for him, because this and I first of all I'm gonna be respectful of Jose Aldo because I know that he was a champion for like ten years. He's got unbelievable ability still. Even though he did get knocked out in thirteen seconds, he's still got unbelievable ability. So this guy's fighting him, I hope he's decent because I'll be honest with you, for Chad Mendes, he beat him. We said he got tired and beat him. Let's we'll see how he does because Chad Mendes and Jose Aldo are two different fighters. But, yeah, I say, man, you know what I mean? This card is actually packed. It had Alves on, it's got Aldo on, it's got Anderson Silva on. Like, literally, Silva, Thiago Alves are two of my most favourite fighters of all time. Uh, I love Johnny Bones Jones as well. Uh, Chris Lehman as well, he was always a beast with the red hair. But right now, I'm watching this one, see how it goes. Yeah, people, uh, to finish up, right, because I know this vlog hasn't probably been the most entertaining for non-sports fans. If you're a sports fan and you want to get my reaction of all the sport, well, there you go, that's the ultimate vlog for you. I've given you who won the Premier League title, I've watched it for all, I've given you all my reaction. 
and obviously UFC, I'm going to try and watch it now and obviously upload this video and get a bit of editing done to it. It's nearly 6 o'clock as well, so I'm going to have a chill out, obviously back at work tomorrow, half 5 in the morning. And no doubt will be Snap, oh, actually I'm going to say no doubt will be Snapchatting you. If you do want to know me Snapchat, by the way, comment down below and I'll give you it inside the comment section. It is on my Instagram as well, so if you want to go and follow me on Instagram, go down to the link inside the description. You can see my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. Follow and like all the pages. If you do follow me on Instagram, as soon as the video goes out, I will follow you straight back 100% guaranteed. But as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Peace out.